hi guys welcome back to my channel today you guys have another uh, video for you guys first and foremost go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed that way you guys don't miss out on any videos that are coming up and you are alerted when they do come so today you guys uh i have uh I have 50 pounds, no, not 50. I have like 80 pounds of onions. Um, I have about 50 pounds of bananas that we need to get into the freezer, okay? Um, I'm also gonna do potatoes too. Now, because this is such, um, because of so many, Oh, oh, this bag is too big. Can you get that for me? Yes. So, that bag is just too big to get. So, uh, I have my daughter to get it because I am a weakling and she's going to go ahead and get it. So, this is uh, the 30 pounds. Um, yesterday, we gave uh, our friend, our neighbor, uh, 20 pounds of onions because we just don't need 100 pounds of onions because that's how much we had all together. And my daughter's school was uh, doing a giveaway. Not only did we get bananas, onions, potatoes, and stuff like that, we also got... Give me one of these boxes. We also got four of these big, big boxes uh, of chip things. They're like crackers, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so we got a ton of them. And this should last us about a good year, okay? Because this is just so much stuff. And then we have about 50 pounds of red potatoes for free. We have a bunch of canned goods, sides, uh, desserts, things like that also. But it's just too much to show you guys. We also had got some chicken breast. You know the chicken breast is expensive. Well, not really expensive, but who wants to pay for chicken when you can get it free? So... We ended up getting about 10 pounds of chicken breast for free. And, uh, yeah, so, but this is not about that. This is about uh, these bananas because they are really ripened. And we do not want to lose all of these bananas. Let me show you oh. all the rest of them. Look at those bananas over there. I have these onions right here. And, yes, you guys. It is massive. So, I have uh, my uh, freezer bags right here. So, bags right here. I have some bags right here. Even if we ran out, we can uh, get some more of these. So, we have these. These are the ones that I really wanted because they sell up. Those, you have to tie them in a knot. But we also are going to wrap them in aluminum foil because we don't want the onions to freeze and burn or the bananas. So we're going to uh, be wrapping them in foil as well just for extra safety measure because um, this is going to last us a good while. We're going to be using it for banana bread, banana muffins, uh, banana pudding, um, smoothies, so much stuff, you guys. So... We definitely don't want to uh, let any of it go to waste because it's just, we got it yesterday. Like I said, it was my daughter's school who was doing the food giveaway. It was open to the public and it was take all that you can. So that's what we did. We took all that we can. Um, so I think we only gave Amy about 10 pounds of onions because we still look about... 35, 40 pounds in here. I think we only gave her 10 pounds. 
Oh no, we need to give somebody else some onions. This is just too much. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead now oh, because I don't want to go over time. Oh. Um, and in between time, I might uh, just skip it to the end part because I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want uh, you guys to just be sitting here bored while I'm just chopping, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, what are you going to do? We're going to be switch. Oh, okay, we could do bananas. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and do... Uh, wait uh some bananas so we're gonna put the bananas in the uh ziplock zip bags because they cannot uh we're not gonna cut them down or anything like that um but some of them are gonna be used today for banana pudding all the rest of them are gonna go inside of the freezer so we're gonna make about two banana puddings today, okay? Mmm, And even though they have the brown spots, it's still good. Like I said, we're using it for banana bread and smoothies. So that's just the sugar in there. That's Paris. So put in the bananas in the bag. And we're going to start in our freezer right now until we go grocery shopping. I know that all of this is not going to fit. So uh, we plan on buying a deep freezer soon. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there because we still have a ton of meat that we really don't even need to shop for meat next month. Because like I said, we just got uh, 10 pounds of chicken breast. We have about... Altogether, I want to say about 60 pounds of chicken in our freezer already. Plus, we have ground beef. We got steak in there. Uh, we got uh, chicken necks. We got uh, all kind of stuff in there. Um, we got pork chops in there. Uh, so much stuff. That's fine. It looks like it was good. So, ooh. we're just putting them all in the bag we're gonna fill the bags up just because uh we don't want to have a bunch of bags in the freezer even though i know that we are but i'm gonna dice the onions up two ways actually and uh yeah so i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna let you guys see when we're uh on the onions okay so i'll be back in a minute so I'm back. Let me straighten this up. Okay. So I'm back and we have put away all the bananas in the freezer. Um, we did leave a couple bunches out, like I said, for the banana pudding, the two banana puddings that we're gonna make, and they're gonna be pretty large. Um, but we put about I wanna say about uh maybe 35 pounds oh in the freezer right now. And then Mom. we have uh, all of uh, these bunches out still. So these are for these big batches of uh, banana pudding. Um, probably gonna give some way to the neighbor to uh, some of the banana pudding. Um, we just have ugh, so much to do today, okay? So, now it's time for us to get started on um, the onions. So, I'm going to put these bananas over there. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to julienne some of them. And then some I'm going to, the first couple, well, the first batch, I'm going to julienne them. Just give them a rough chop and... Uh, the the second batch um are gonna get just diced up so 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just. Oh, sorry for the shaky camera. I have you guys on my table. So. Oh. My knife is so dull. I don't know why I didn't sharpen it. So. Close that door. So, sorry about that. Neighbors are getting into it with each other. And that's none of our business, you know. Mind your own, you live long, okay? Huh? I don't care. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this uh, first batch of onions. Please, Lord, don't make me cry today, okay? So. And these are going to be for like stir fry, um, soups, things like that, hamburgers. Um, oh, the whole onion just got away from me. Oh, I feel it in my senses, y'all. And because I am uh, coming down with something as well, doesn't make it uh, any better. So, this is the style that we're looking for right now. Some of them will be cut into uh, onion rings as well because my wife loves onion rings. This hair is working my nerves, y'all. So. Human, help me. Where? Let's burn them on my nose. So. That's what it's going to be, you guys. These onions are here. And can you imagine? We have 80 pounds to go. And I'm already crying. Woo! So. Let's just do it like this. So this is going to be a hard day for us. So once we are finished with this, I'm going to come back and uh, yeah, just give you guys a look in the freezer of all these onions and whatnot like that. Okay, so I see you when we're done. It's going to be about two hours because if I had a choice to just film this, this would be an already too long video. Okay, so... Um, it's going to take us about two hours to get all these cut down. And oh, I'm going to soak my hands in like some bleach water because I don't want the onion smell. Um, so, yeah. Be back with the finished product. Okay? Bye. If you guys know a way to get uh, the onion smell out of the nails, please tell me. Okay? Um, I need to know. Put it in the comment section down below. And like I said, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what video you want to see next. And yeah, share this video and be back with the end results. Okay, guys. So back with the finish thing. Not all the way finished, but it's, it's, it was just too much, you guys. So we have one, two, and then we have two bags like these in the back. Um, another one over there of the onions. We have a bunch of bags of bananas, one, two, and three, and there's some in the back as well. Um, all the meat is right here, and then the meat in the back. Um, 
We also have some onions on the door, uh, more meat and stuff like that. And then here's some more onions. And like I said, we are nowhere near done with the onions or anything. Excuse my dirty freezer. Uh, so let me take you over here. We still have some bananas right here to go. 